is Modern Slazar and today we're continuing finally with our Darksiders 1 playthrough. I started this a while ago and I interrupted it because well not a lot of you guys were interested but with the launch or with the announcement of Darksiders 3 I kind of picked it up again so we're gonna pick up exactly where we left off. This is after uh, War's encounter with Samael okay after you get Shadow Flight. Now in the previous episode, and don't worry if you can't find the previous episodes, I'm gonna link them in the description and in cards as well. I showed you that over here, if you remember, there is a secret which I believe at that point that was unobtainable because we didn't have the proper tools, okay, the proper weapon in order to demo, uh, to actually uh, destroy the pillar and get to the treasure, but I was wrong and I'm gonna explain to you exactly what I mean. So. The first tre treasure, the first piece of the abyssal armor was located right over there, okay? Basically what you had to do is take a car and throw it at the uh, red blob on the, whatchamacallit, on that tower over there. So basically I'm just gonna show you exactly what you need to do. Come on, come over here, okay? There we go. How do we get rid of this guy? So basically you get a car, not this, this won't work, okay? So you get a car, you aim it at the red spot in the pillar which is now destroyed on the ground. You throw it, the thing explodes and then you can climb on the pillar, like Sue. Okay, and at the very end over here, there was a chest containing the first piece of the abyssal armor. Okay, I've, uh, I told you guys initially that you need a special weapon, which is true, that weapon does make it easier, but it's not 100% needed. So uh, through your first playthrough, you can get that piece without uh, needing to backtrack at all. Now I'm going to show you the spot of the second Abyssal Armor. So again, this is right after we meet Samael, no new game plus, no special anything, okay? This is like bare bones equipment and all whatnot. Uh, did I mention that I switched to the War Master Edition? Okay, this is one thing which I did do. The saves do carry over from Darksiders 1 Normal Edition to Darksiders War Master Edition, so you can use your saves. This is pretty much what I done here. All right. So the second piece of the Abyssal Armor is located down there. So if you notice a bump in quality, a much better fidelity on the video, that's because right now we are running the War Master Edition. Uh, full screen, because if I don't use full screen, then I'm gonna get some frame rate drops, not because of the machine, but because of the poor optimization. Uh, and of course, all details set to maximum, max resolution, max effects, max settings, max, 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 of course. Now, what did I say? The second piece of the Abyssal Armor, this is what you gotta do. After you talk to Samuel and you get your Glide ability, this one, okay, your Shadow Flight. I may fail this a couple of times, so you guys just bear with me, on alright? So, it's like this, and like this, and now you glide. Yeah, I got it first try. Easy. You glide like so, then you're gonna reach this secret area. Climb up, and right here, you will have the chest with the second piece of the abyssal armor. Okay, so second chest right here. So, you will see that now we have not one, but two. Wait, wrong menu. Not one, but two pieces of the abyssal set. Obviously, if you can't find your way around this stuff, just Google it like I did or YouTube it uh, to find what you need. And you exit like so, you glide into this blue ball, which obviously will give you a boost and ta-da! We can't access this zone over here, this leads to another boss, but this will prove a point I was trying to make. So you see that red blob on top there? Yeah, that can only be detonated using a special weapon, which we do not have right now. We'll get it a tad later. This is how the first piece of the Abyssal Armor was protected, like I showed you earlier. But you can grab a car. Oh, crap. Sorry, car. So, what was the grab? B. Oh, yeah. You aim it. Like so. Right? Sorry, I'm using analog stick. Okay, and you will destroy it like that. Right? And it will blow up. The pillar will go down and you will be able to get to the um, first piece of the Abyssal Armor. Again right up in front over there over there on that pillar all right sorry about that i wanted to make sure i'm clear about it because i kind of i wasn't correct the first time around saying that you're gonna have to backtrack you don't have to backtrack all right let's get going let's go after tiamat the bat queen i gotta say boys uh looking at recording and at footage darksiders uh is not very different uh whoa 
it's not very different, it doesn't appear very different in the videos I make from the uh, War Master Edition to the Standard Edition, but when actually playing the difference is a whole lot more apparent. So again, I think I did, uh, they did a very good job with the remastering of Darksiders. Uh, press and hold uh, for HUD. Oh yeah. Um, I'm gonna continue the playthrough uh, for Darksiders 1, then I'm gonna do Darksiders 2 because I'm super hyped about Darksiders 3 and we got till 2018 to finish this playthrough. So, plenty of time. Plenty of time. Hello, boys. Have you missed me? We don't have a whole lot of moves just now. And also, my controller is showing signs of wear and tear. My block button isn't working so well. My right button this one sometimes it triggers sometimes it doesn't and wouldn't you know it that's the button for the dodge uh, were there secrets here yeah look over there see that there's a chest I remember uh, what I don't remember is how you get there uh, by the appearance of that chest it would look like another piece of the abyssal armor and this one I really don't know how to get at so we'll just keep on going I think I should do a separate video, what do you guys think, of how to get all the pieces of the Abyssal set? I think that would be better overall. Alright, so I could go here or... Oh yeah. You see that thing on top? To my right? That has something to do with getting to that special location. I remember now. I'm pretty sure that has something to do with it. It used to have... S yeah, it definitely has... Oh yeah, I remember. We're gonna get a portal gun. Now I remember. And you're gonna use that portal gun to get from there to there. You see there's another portal sign up on the right side of the chest. Just like one on top over here. Yeah. We're gonna use the portal gun to get that. Oh shit, I hit So bad. And you can't kill him. You can, you can just like scare him off a little bit. down here again one of those portal locations oh executions will give more health that's important right now because I'm kind of a little bit low now what was I supposed to do here I don't really remember am I supposed to jump to the other side Am I supposed to climb back up? No, I came this way, right, right. So I need to go this away. I can't go that away. So obviously I need to jump over there. Okay, cool. And glide. Easy. Okay, now we gotta do this. And over here. And glide over here. We gotta get to Tiamat's lab. Oh yeah, the choking grounds. I think there's a secret here as well. No, not that way. I think it was this way. Oh yeah, bats! Now I remember. Now bats are easily executable if you jump on them and press B. You do that and you can jump like from bat to bat and keep on executing them like so. There was something around here. I think it was a hidden treasure. And there's also, uh, with these tombstones, if I remember correctly, you were supposed to destroy a specific set, a specific amount of tombstones, after which a chest would appear, I think, around here. But we'll see how, how, how it goes. I don't fully remember. Please keep in mind, I played this thing like years ago. I don't know what was it, seven years ago. Alright, brah, let's go. You cannot kill me, I'm too fast, too furious. Okay, maybe, maybe I'll dodge now. No, 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 no. Okay, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. He's gonna blow up and kill all his allies, and I'm gonna get a little bit of health back, and more health, health, health from this guy. Easy peasy. And here's another secret, thank you. Artifact soldier, cheers. We're gonna be able to give that to Volgrim and he's gonna give us some stuff. Some souls for it so we can use for upgrades. 
Ooh, skeletal show soldiers, whatever shall I do? Oh, now I remember where the chest appears. It's in the middle of that chapel. What I don't remember is what tombstones to destroy and how many. Ooh, wife's home. All right, boys, I'm gonna pause the video for like a second for you. It's gonna be like a second, but for me it's gonna be like a couple of minutes because wife's home. And if I don't pay any attention to her now, she's gonna get all grumpy and moody. So I'll be back in a precisely one second. All right, I'm back, boys. Now that the wife has been taken care of, we can continue on with our playthrough. Oh yes, here we were. So I said that, oh yeah, I remember where the chest is supposed to spawn after we did destroy the tombstones. It's here in the middle of this here chapel. Or was it, no, this is where Volgrim was. No, I'm wrong. I'm wrong, so what not would here. You ask of this humble margin? For now to shut up until I get enough souls to buy stuff from you. Alright. I'm gonna keep on destroying tombstones because I know there's something with the tombstones. For sure I'm not remembering wrong. bat up there, I believe. Alright, we got more tombstones over here. Should be getting enemies as well. I like it how he executes the skeletons. He like, just shoves himself into and basically Take some more. Like so. I took, I took your part. Your bag of bones. Sometimes it's good to lock on, especially when it comes to really powerful uh, uh, enemy enemies, but sometimes it's a really pain in the ass when you're fighting multiple targets. Let's try a quick block. Uh -oh, okay, quick block didn't work. One more try. Nope. <sighs> I gotta get a new controller. The block sadly isn't working very well for me anymore. That, more health. I think they, these guys give off a lot of health. Come on, were there more tombstones? Of course, ravens, I don't know if I told you this or not, but ravens give off a lot, a lot of fucking health. Uh, the only problem with them is make sure you don't miss them uh, because they fly out fly off really really quickly right was it this way I don't remember we could always check the map but I'm a true man I don't ask for directions I just wander around until I get bored yeah I missed the raven Okay, got him. There we go. Now we got some health to play with. You can also use this attack to knock him down like so if you ever feel cornered. Yeah, here's some more tombstones. This is it. Yeah, see? Told you! I told you guys! 
I just forgot the location, but yeah, all you have to do is just delete a lot of these here tombstones. I know it wasn't that shit crazy. Again, I'm going off a memory of, of stuff that happened seven years ago. But you know what they say, if the game's good, you'll always remember. Alright, now I know exactly where that was. Look, right up ahead. I was wrong about the location, though, so... Uh, I think a lifestone shard is in there, so that's gonna make two out of four. Yep, two out of four. Now let's continue onwards. Mm. Yeah. Alright, big guy. Okay, in a situation such as this one, that's when the lock-on feature is really, really golden. You have one strong single opponent. Oh, damn it, I wanted to hit you with a car. Oh yeah, the horn knocks the big guys back. So again, if you feel yourself cornered, do one of that. See? Uh-oh, he's gonna blow. Aren't you dead yet? Souls. <laughs> yeah, I like it to get really close up and personal before I hit him with a car. Trying to make sure I haven't missed anything. You know that feeling like I don't want to miss a secret, I don't want to miss a secret. That kind of feeling. Yeah! Wait, I got one more. Yeah! Okay, so two cars required. Everything. Oh, uh, I couldn't. F oh yeah, you see this? Look at it. You see this shadowy, like trampoline thing? Again, we need to slip into the shadows through a very special ability in order to make use of that and what's down there. But for, but I don't remember how or when. So that's a dead end. We're gonna have to go this way. Okay, let's pop over in the map, I think. Oh, wait, wrong map. Yeah, this map. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, got it. I know where I need to go. Reflex. I think there was one more something over here. At least a big guy. Did I aim that right? Nah, damn it, it hit the wall. Yeah, we got health over there. Funny that the map didn't tell us that though. Of course, all sorts of undead. I'm afraid not to fall, I don't even remember if I can fall. I think we're gonna do some serious backtracking towards the end of the game in this specific area. Huh. Come on, get up, I can't hit you. There we go. Done. 
guess I should use rifle abilities more often. I'm just so used to sword play. Okay, so if we go that way, we will go through the level. But if we go this way, we will find a secret. I think. Cannot pass. Yes, I can. Oh. Okay, there's a chest on the other side. We'll go get it. Come on, grab it. Grab the ledge. Grab the ledge. Uh-oh. Is this actually a trick to this? I don't remember being a trick to this. You see there's a chest over there? Up yonder? Okay, so just like this. Fine. What's the secret on that part? I think the backtracking is required again for this specific piece. All right, open says me. I have come for the destroyer. My brother spoke of your coming, but a powerful curse holds me now. I cannot help you. Any curse can be broken. Yes, perhaps. These servants of the Destroyer walk unseen within the realm of shadow. By their blood we are bound. By their blood shall we be free. I can no longer move within the shadow realm. Much of my power has left me. You need not enter it. <sighs> I will grant you the power to see into the accursed realm for a time. But to what end? What hope have we now against the Destroyer's foul sorcery? Hope will not bring you freedom. Yes. See, I told you I remembered something about the Shadow Realm. Shadow lurkers hide and kill them all. They can't be that hard to find. Off to find the Shadow Lurkers. Okay, there's one to the right and three to the left. Yeah, those trampoline-like structures. I think there's three challenges, sort of. Was this one again? Speed brawl. Defeat 40 enemies within the time limit. Bonus souls will be rewarded for any time left. So kill them fast. Got it. Mm, which would be the fast way of dispatching a, a lot of AOE attacks. This is no challenge for the likes of you. Damn it. Kill the little guys and stay away from the big guys. Obviously the big guys take way more damage and time to kill. There's no more little guys. Come on, dodge button! Oh, wait, there we go. 
How many more? Two more. Two more. Come on. Come on I have no time for you. Done. One minute, 20 seconds to spare, too. Now that was entertaining. Can we do it again? Don't walk into the middle of the thing before you get your chest. You'll get teleported off. So pop the chest first. Walk to the side. And then walk in the middle. That's done. One shadow lurker down. Free to go. What was this challenge again? Aerial Brawl. Hold left trigger to focus on enemies. Hold X to launch enemies into the air with war. Press X repeatedly to combo enemies in the air. Defeat 5 enemies using uh, aerial combos within the time limit. Bonus souls will be awarded for any... Okay, so I gotta kill him in the air. Ka -ka 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 -ka. So I'm gonna soften him up on the ground and kill him in the air. Come on, I will soften you up on the ground. Are you soften? Okay, you're soft. Does that count? Yep, that counts. That should kill. Yeah, easy. That is an aerial combo after all. Four. Shit, that wasn't good. That should be good. Enough. Done. Could have finished it just a tad quicker there. Again, don't walk directly to the middle. You'll get teleported out and you won't get your um, rewards. Two more to go, so one's over there. I think there's one closest over here. No, 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 no. Okay, easy. Yeah, definitely my right button on my 360. More. Hey guys, do you think it's worth picking up a Xbox One controller for PC or should I stick to the old 360? Because I gotta get a new one. The right button barely works. I need to like hit it three times for it to work once. The gory end. Kill 30 enemies using only war's instant kill attacks. But at the end of the time limit, bonus souls awarded. Okay, cool. Oh, I remember this one. You gotta jump from bat to bat. That's one bat. Two bats. Where's the next one? Three bats. You can chain these quite nicely. Just keep going. I have the type. Always keep an eye on where, where the next one is. I don't want to kill you normally, come on. That's not the point. Come on, go, done. Quickly, bat to bat. 
Oh, that's okay. I didn't want to kill him like that. Stupid. Seventeen. This one. Shit. That big guy is gonna be a problem. He's gonna make me waste a whole bunch of time on him. Time which I do not have to spare. Oh man, I avoided that attack by doing an execution. I'm guessing at one point or another I'm gonna have to deal with his ass. Shit. Not you, the other guy! Turn two. Turn three. Still not executed! No god dodge! Fucking button! Yeah, that wasn't the button fault, that was my fault. Worth that time though. Okay, he can be executed now, good. Just, I don't know if the timer keeps sticking down for these execution moves though. Bad. Just a couple more to go. Oh fucking a! I'm not dealing with another one. Screw this noise. Was that bad? Okay, got the bat. I just need two more. Oh, another bat! One more. Bats are the best here. Now oh, you missed me, bitch. Okay, that's it. That's it. With 1 minute 23 seconds, 23 to spare. Not bad. Not bad. And shit, we're already on 10 gigabytes, so that's gonna be it for now. I'm gonna thank you guys for watching. Tune in to the next part. Bye bye.